I don't know what the next generation of Americans will face, but I do know that there will always be good men and women who are willing to step up when the time comes. People like my father, a first generation American who was raised as a boy, dirt poor, in one party rule, pre Mexico, he understood the value of the American dream. Believing he owed a debt to the country that gave him the opportunity to climb out of poverty, he enlisted in the Navy right out of high school. He inspired me to join the Navy. I know a lot of people who aren't in the Naval ROTC scholarship, and I know a lot of people who are in the program, and I would say I have it pretty good. I love Houston. I think there's a lot to go explore, and I think that Rice you know, is very centrally located, so it allows us to do all that. Here at Rice, I think I've been afforded more opportunities as a student than I think at any other university that I could go to. It's so easy to go get research opportunities and talk to people and the amount of connections that Rice University has with the Houston area and the greater world, the people that will come in and speak that we just always get to be privy to and just go meet them. I'm just constantly honored to be a part of this unit and also humbled and it reminds me like the responsibility that I have as like my college is getting paid for. That's, that's no small responsibility to have that someone's investing so much in my success and my future. It's a constant reminder to do my best and to keep striving towards, towards that goal. I just wanted to be part of something bigger than myself. And like I feel as though I can set an example, especially with being an officer and like being an aviator. Like, you know, it's one of the most challenging um, things, especially with being in the Navy, like and having to land on carriers and doing things like that. I knew for me, like I wanted to take on that challenge and then also set the tone and be like an example for other future leaders. For me, it's the right decision because it gives me uh, not only job security, job safety, but it just allows us to work with all kinds of different people, which is something we're going to have to do when we leave the military, which is something I think is really important and I like it. When I think about uh, my future as a naval officer, I'm honestly super excited uh, and really looking forward to uh, kind of leading people um, and having a direct impact that's more than interacting with college students. It's uh, serving our country and serving the nation, and I'm just really looking forward to it. Being in the Navy, the things that I get to do that rather regular college kids don't, I mean, I've over my, over my two summers, I've been able to go on nuclear submarines, uh, ships. I've been to Camp Pendleton with the Marine Corps. You know, I've been able to travel. I've been able to meet a bunch of kids from all over the country and the world as part of the Navy. And I think being able to do both of those, being able to have a great college experience, you know, live the college life, go out and explore the town that I'm in, but also be able to do these really cool things with the military that nobody else gets to do, I think is awesome. It, it is a, a scholarship program, so you know, your motivation could be academic, financial, whatever it may be. Personally, for me, it was uh, you know a sense of pride, being a part of something bigger, being able to give back to you know the country that gave so much to me. And at, at the end of it, you know you're doing a very honorable thing. You're serving your country, you know. And to me, there there was nothing that could be greater than that. Right. Right. We are